Well, I'm joined from our Manchester studio by Mohammed Shafiq, who's the chief executive of the Muslim Youth Organization of the Ramadan Foundation. Thanks very much indeed for Good joining evening, us. Clive. Um, you initially uh, didn't think, you initially believed that Gert Wilders shouldn't be allowed into this country. You agreed with the Home Office banning of him. Um, you've since changed your mind. Why? Uh, I think on reflection that we've got to be committed to freedom of speech. And no matter how abhorrent somebody's views may be, um, we've got to allow that uh, great British tradition of freedom of speech to, uh, to stand. And I think the debate we had in February when the Home Office made that decision, uh, actually over that time here on the BBC, in particular listening to the comments made by, uh, by your viewers, uh, I come to, come to the conclusion that actually, yes, we should allow him in. That doesn't mean that I support what he says. Um, he's a fascist. Uh, he's somebody who demonizes and attacks Islam under the cloak of freedom of speech. Um, and there can be no justification for it. And can I also say that Mr. Wilders, um, uh, yesterday I spoke to him on BBC Five Live and I say to him again, uh, if he's keen to have a debate on these issues, we want that debate in a peaceful, tolerant and respectful way. Uh, but uh, as, uh, as always, he hides in his bunkers uh, away from a real chance to have a debate. But there are many Muslims who would disagree with what you've just said uh, in supporting him actually coming here and making his views known. Well, I, I, th I think I, there are, and certainly, you know, I've, I've had many calls over the past 24 hours, people, uh, you know, pick, picking up that issue with me. But I think, you know, you either believe in freedom of speech or you don't. And I, I think, uh, I think where, the, where the line is drawn is, is in relation to incitement to religious hatred. And he, he does not uh, like Islam, he does not like Muslims, um, he demonizes and attacks our faith. We're, Clive, we are really up for a debate. We want if you want to criticize Islam, we're up for that debate. But it's going to be on mutual respect and tolerance uh, and away from prejudice uh, and fascism. Uh, and uh, you know, it reminds me very much of my history lessons in, uh, in high school where we, where we learned about uh, in the run-up to the Second World War when, when Hitler uh, w w was demonizing and attacking the Jewish faith. And we know what happened then. It was the Holocaust. But he says that he doesn't hate all Muslims, just those who are intent on violence, militant Islam. Well, I mean, you know, this notional debate that he's speaking up, I, I mean, y yesterday, for example, he made that very same point. And when I pushed him, um, he has a problem with Islam. Um, Muslims follow Islam. So if it, na naturally uh, anybody attacks our faith, we're obviously going to stand up and, 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 and hold, uh, you, know, you know, take some responsibility for that. Um, and he's, he, he is not, uh, you know, somebody who wants to promote good relation between good communities. And I think what's unique about this country, uh, Clive, is that we live in a multi-faith, multi-ethnic society, and that's our success. And any Anybody who tries to come in this country to discord um, that harmony, um, th they will not be welcome. In the same way, those that demonstrated to be gay uh, in the House of Co outside the House of Commons do not represent the Muslim community. They're, they're again a small minority of bigots um, and do not represent uh, the, the Muslim community. Okay, we'll leave it there. Mohammed Shafiq, thanks very much indeed for joining us. Thank you, Clive.